for this move, you want to begin in an elevated straddle grip, like so. And you'll start in the same way that you would for a standard Charlie air cut. However, for this cut, I find it much easier to only drop off about a fourth or a third of the bottom of the deck. Something like this. Um, which will allow for more clearance for the center packet to revolve around later on in this cut. Now from here, your index finger is free to contact the bottom corner of this top packet, and you'll just peel down a small portion of cards, maybe seven to 10 or so, about like this. From here, you have the center packet clipped with your index and your thumb, which will allow for your middle ring and pinky to relax and extend downward just a little bit as this top packet kind of rides along uh, the fingernail of your index finger like this. So just extend that down as far as you can to about here. And then from here with your thumb, gripped on the center packet, you'll move your thumb closer to your pinky until uh, this corner of the center packet, which is hidden underneath you. Here, I'll remove this. Until that corner goes in between your middle and your ring finger, right here. So again, this is the approximate packet size. Now extend these down to about this point with your thumb. Uh, extend this towards your pinky finger until that center packet gets in position. So you can see that corner in between my middle and ring here. Now from here, uh, my pinky finger is going to slightly re-grip onto the long edge corner of the center packet down here. While everything's clipped like this, I can remove my thumb and I'm going to re-grip down in this corner of the center packet closer to my index finger. Once I've secured this grip, now my pinky can grip the opposite corner of the center packet just like so. From this point, I'm going to kind of relax uh, my middle and ring, which are the only things supporting the top packet right now. Again, it's just riding along the fingernail of my index. At the same time, I extend those as far as I can. I'm going to push in with my index finger on this bottom packet and clip with my thumb. And now the index finger is on the innermost long edge of this top packet, as you can see right here, uh, in preparation to revolve this top packet. Now as you start to revolve this, once you get to about this point, you can reposition your middle finger to this outer short edge of the top packet right here. And Again, I have a, a firm grip on the center packet with my thumb and my pinky finger. So everything should look like this. From here, uh, you'll want to begin the rotation of this center packet to allow this top packet uh, to fall flat into your palm. And to do this, just curl in with your ring finger and you're going to push down on the center packet until that top packet can fall into place like this. Um, a problem I had when learning this is I would keep this packet tilted down and what would happen is when I would try to revolve this, the corner would get stuck here and I, I couldn't complete the rotation. It would prevent that rotation from happening. So to fix this, instead of leaving the pack tilted down, uh, just straighten your fingers out so that it's flat like so, and that will give you just enough clearance 
to use your uh, ring finger and extend it toward your pinky to rotate. As soon as it gets here, it'll pop off of your pinky and just continue forward with your ring finger to allow it to fall into place, just like so. Uh, for the closer, you're just going to allow this top packet to fall back down and make sure you have enough room with your middle finger hanging above this bottom packet uh, because you're going to use gravity to help you here and you're going to tilt down and this top packet is going to pivot or swivel around your ring finger to square up so I'm going to actually curl my ring finger in as I tilt down and it will allow the uh, top packet to square up like so so I'll try to go through this again slowly You'll start in this elevated straddle grip, like so. And then aim to drop about a fourth or a third of the deck into your hand, like so. From here, your index finger contacts the bottom corner of this top packet, and you're just going to peel down a small packet like this. Again, approximately 7 to 10 cards. Once you have the center packet clipped between your thumb and index, you're going to extend your middle ring and pinky down as that top packet rides along the index fingernail to about this point. Um, just enough so that when you curl your thumb toward your pinky, it'll allow for this corner uh, to go into this position in between the middle and ring finger here. From here, I reposition the pinky onto the corner of the innermost uh, long edge of the center packet here. See that? Now I can release with my thumb and grip this corner closest to my index as my pinky once again re-grips to the opposite corner here. Now. I'm going to allow my middle and ring finger to extend downwards as much as I can as I also use my index finger to curl in and push this bottom packet until I can clip with my thumb. Now my index is on this innermost long edge of the top packet. From here, you're going to extend your index out and begin this rotation. Once you're to about this point, re-grip or reposition your middle finger uh, to the outer short edge of the top packet. Again, you have a very firm grip with your thumb and pinky finger on the center packet. From here, you'll start to curl in with your ring finger on this center packet, which will allow for the top packet to fall flat. Again, make sure that it's not tilted, but rather straight, and this will allow for just enough clearance to continue this revolution. And to complete this, again, extend your ring finger out towards your pinky till about this point, and that corner will pop off of your pinky and that packet can fall into place. Uh, again, for the closer, allow this top packet to fall down as you keep your ring finger extended right here. And as I tilt down, my ring finger is going to curl back, and gravity will allow that top packet to fall into place, just like that.